Okay, welcome back. This is part two of Google Wonder Wheel and market research. So we are now at Japanese recipes in the Google Wonder Wheel. This thing is amazing. It's a uh, graphical layout of how the neural keyword relationships in Google exist. So this is incredible. This is exciting stuff. This will allow you to uh, dig around in your market and um, visually see how things are related, how you might be able to lay out your site categories and um, figure out whether you're, you know, within areas that are closely related or not. So let me just take a look at Japanese recipes. We've got the whole genealogical keyword tree here. Under Japanese recipes, these are the words that are most closely related. Um, <coughs> that are right within the same path of Japanese recipes or uh, the genealogical keyword tree. So we've got Japanese dessert recipes, Japanese food which is larger, Japanese rice recipes, Chinese recipes, sushi recipes, Korean recipes. So right here already we've got um, you know three categories, sushi recipes, Japanese dessert recipes, Japanese rice recipes, these are all categories that we can use underneath Japanese recipes. So let's just dig into the ones that make the most sense that are smaller areas of our Japanese recipe uh, market. Let's look at sushi recipes real quick. <clears throat> you can see that we would make a category under sushi recipes and there's a whole um, you know, eight, seven or eight articles here. One, two, three, four, five. We've got eight different articles that we could write article categories that we could write or article uh, areas that we could write underneath our category of sushi recipes. So we could create a whole slew of articles on um, sushi, sushi rolls, sushi menu, sushi rice recipes, sushi roll recipes, vegetarian sushi recipes, sushi sauce recipes, spicy tuna, tuna sushi recipes, um, and we can actually, you know, dig into these sushi rice recipes has a ton of um, possible article topics underneath it. So you know we could even make a site about sushi recipes because it's such a it's a fairly large enough market but um, that's not our that's not our site model so um, but it's good to know that we've got a lot of stuff going on underneath sushi recipes let's just go back up to Japanese recipes and um, dig down into another one this is how we find we're gonna find different areas that we might target Let's go to Japanese dessert recipes. Well, no, let's go to rice recipes. Um, so we've got green tea rice recipe, Japanese green tea rice, uh, mochi rice recipes, Japanese fried rice recipe, rice noodle recipe, Japanese sushi rice recipe, rice dishes recipes, rice salad recipe. Um, this is incredible. We can dig down into each one of these, but um, basically I just want to show you that these are all really pretty big areas that we can make categories under on our site for. Let's go back out and check out the the other or the other uh, category, um, Japanese dessert recipes. Sorry, I've still got this JavaScript area. So we've got um, Japanese appetizers, drinks, make Japanese desserts, and um, you know we can dig it. We can dig into these to find other um, Japanese recipes to target. But um, let's go back out. Let's go higher in our market. Let's get a bird's eye perspective on um, above Japanese recipes to see if we're, we might be missing some areas because um, it's quite obvious that. There's other areas within the Japanese recipe market that aren't showing up right here. Let's go back out to Japanese food. 
which is the parent the parent keyword above Japanese recipes and you can see you've got Japanese music, sports, culture, clothing, Japanese food online, Japanese food pictures. So let's just um, dig into one of these, like, um, I don't know, Japanese food online. This is going to show us a different perspective of, uh, we might find some other Japanese recipe related things. Here we go, Japanese food recipes. You see, it wasn't directly underneath our Japanese recipes node, but here it is over here. So we've got um, other Japanese food related topics, but let's just take a look at this Japanese food recipes. Let's click on that. Here we go. Now we've got sushi recipes and Japanese dessert recipes were over on the other node as well but they're on the Japanese food recipe as well so what we've got is Japanese food recipe is highly related to Japanese uh, recipes it's probably you know laterally sitting over here it's basically almost the same thing as Japanese recipes so look, we found another one. Easy Japanese food recipes. That's another category that we could use. Um, let's click on that. There you go. And you've got a whole list of different Japanese recipes. So we've got another category in itself. We've got Japanese food recipe, easy Japanese food recipes is one category. Japan uh, sushi recipes, Japanese dessert recipes. We've got three right there. And let's uh, take a look around here a little bit more. Maybe we can find um, Japanese. Here we go. Japanese noodles, Japanese noodle recipes could be another category, and then we could um, use all these different Japanese noodle recipes. Let's go back to tofu recipes. These are all categories. You can see they've got plenty of uh, subjects underneath them. So this is how we begin to build out our uh, website structure. So let's build like three categories. Japanese tofu recipes, Japanese noodle recipes. That's two. And then we've got um, easy Japanese food recipes could be a category. Or, um, you know, we could, that's kind of an un, undefined Easy Japanese food recipes could fall under any type of category like tofu, desserts, noodles. So it might be, that might be not be the way that we want to target it, but, um, you know, maybe we could do um, Japanese green tea recipes. There you go. There's another category right there. These are all recipes. I mean, all categories for recipes. Let's go back out to um, Japanese food recipes. We've got, um, let's go back out to Japanese recipes. Japanese dessert recipes, here we go. Japanese appetizers, that's another one. We could do Japanese appetizer recipe, here we go, look at that. It's another category. We've got tons of categories, appetizer recipes. So we've got our, we've got already about uh, eight different categories that we can use for our site. So in the next video I'm going to show you how you can lay out your uh, category pages for these. Um, thanks for joining and we'll see you in the next video.